So, uh, some time ago, I received um, a request for proposal from one of my clients, and I created the document in Polish that was 10 pages. And after a few hours, I received from my client an email that says, hey, I think I forgot to say that we need to have it in English. When will you be able to do it? Whoa. So normally, that will take me some time. But in this case, I was able to send him a 10-page translated document in English after 20 minutes. And that was possible using one of my uh, solutions. And this solution allows me to translate any document to any other language. Uh, the document can be Word document or PowerPoint document. So imagine the situation when I'm, uh, I am translating uh, an RFP from Polish to English, and after some time I can also translate the same language to uh, also French and Spain. And all of those four documents, so Polish, English, French, and uh, Spanish, are stored in SharePoint. So at any time, I can use a built-in search in SharePoint to, to, to search for the content in any of those documents. So thanks to that, having a multilingual uh, company, I can cre create some content and allow my coworkers to search for it in their uh, native language. The heart of this solution is Azure custom function combined with Azure Cognitive Services, uh, responsible for translations. But of course, you can uh, use any translation engine. The whole solution is very modular, so in different parts you can use different components. You can store documents in different place, you can um, uh, use your own Azure function and so on, so on. I'll show you uh, in a second how it is uh, built uh, part by part. Let's see how the application looks um, itself. So in here you can translate new document. It's just simple uh, file picker from which you can add a document and pick languages you want, uh, you want it to be translated. Or you can just select documents that are already translated, pick any of them, and you can see uh, which, um, to which languages it is translated to. And for instance, add another one, like, uh, I don't know, Romanian. And translate it, fire forget, boom. I now I need to wait. It uh, usually takes around a minute or up to three minutes, depends on how big is the document. Um, what is also important from here, I can also uh, open the location from uh, from where I will see all the documents. And as you can see, actually, it is already translated. In a second, I should receive also an email that a new document has been translated. Uh, let me quickly check it. And yeah, this is the email here that a uh, new document has been created, uh, translated. There's a link to download the file directly or open it in the browser. And to show you the effect of the, of the translations, I'll show you two documents. One is in Polish, another one is uh, translated using uh, this whole solution. And as you can see, uh, the translation is pretty good. Of course, it is not perfect, as you can see in this example, like one word was not translated. But first of all, 90% of the translations are uh, translated. Uh, second of all, most of the translations are pretty good, so sometimes some uh, some sentences need to be corrected, but uh, generally it is it is well translated. And last thing is that all document format, so uh, the structure of where the images are or where the sentences are and the paragraphs and lists and so on is pre-saved. So after translation, the document did not change its structure. And this is really important and cool part. So now let's see how it is done in the, in the platforms. So first of all, there is a Power Up app. It contains 
for uh, screens and extra one for testing. The logic of it, I mean, the logic, the functions be, uh, behind are a little bit more complex from uh, as it was in my previous uh, solution related to reading, importing business cards uh, to the Outlook contacts. But generally, still, it does not uh, require any very expert knowledge about Power Apps. Uh, there are some simple forms uh, connected to SharePoint, uh, some buttons that uh, allow you to, to run the flow as, uh, as it was also in the previous solution. So actually, nothing really new. The real magic is actually happen in the flow. So what is happening when you press translate button in the application? It triggers a first flow that is aggregating information about the document that need to be translated. And it is uh, firing another flow responsible for translation. Depends on if the document is new or the document is uh, just an extra translation for, uh, for the document that has been already translated, uh, we need firstly to um, uh, grab the document and move it to proper location in proper fo folder and so on. Uh, but both actions are actually the very same, and they are calling for the, uh, another flow and the reason I've split this whole process to two different flows is that actually I can call this flow for any of my services. So for instance, I can build another application, uh, maybe some web service, or maybe I want to integrate calling this uh, flow directly from the SharePoint or, or I don't know, Planner, Todoist, whatever, any platform you want. And thanks to that, I can, uh, without changing my whole architecture, I can still be able to uh, take use of it. So here my flow accepts uh, uh, some specific data in some specific schema. There is array of languages that need to be that the document need to be translated to, email of uh, the person that need to be notified and the document ID and the document library ID where the document uh, is. And I'm uh, checking if the document is, uh, is not translating at, at the moment. And if it is not, then I'm doing proper translation. And translation is actually calling for my Azure function, uh, which is responsible for taking the whole document binaries uh, this is how it gets the binaries of the file. I'm just uh, using a common SharePoint action in the flow to get the file content and pass it directly to my Azure function. Azure function takes the document and split it on different paragraphs. And each paragraph is translated in the, in, independently uh, using uh, Azure Cognitive Service, uh, the translation API, and um, uh, save back to the original document. And it is passed back to the flow, which also translate just the, the title of the document and create a new file using my translated file binaries. And that's it. As you can see, the documents uh, um, uh, are translated in uh, different languages and actually using uh, SharePoint search, I will be able to search in those files. Of course, once they have been um, properly indexed by the search engine, which of course is not instant and will need to wait some time. So having that said, I hope that you enjoy five of my solutions. I hope that they inspire you in some way. Please be aware that each of those solutions that I'm using personally, you can also use them in your work as well. Uh, in different contexts, but of course the whole architecture, the mechanism uh, will stay the same. So using um, Microsoft um, Power Platform, that is Power Apps uh, or Microsoft Flow, you can actually build any solution integrated with any service, not only from Microsoft, but any third-party uh, service, 
um, the only requirement is that it should has it uh, on um, API. Remember that there is also a chance that if you're using uh, some of the most popular applications, uh, you should be able to find proper actions in the flow or power apps connectors. And that's it. Thank you.